Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to this week's segment of Live Without Limits. Today's show is titled Five Tips to Boost Sales Through E Commerce Marketing. E Commerce Marketing is also known as Digital Marketing, and it is a very important way of marketing online. And it doesn't matter whether you have a brick or mortar store or not, you have to have some type of presence online today with an e-commerce store and there's many different platforms you use and you need to know which one is the best and which one is the one that offers you the most for what you're paying to host your website online so whether you own a brick and mortar business or run an online store. Improving sales is always the number one priority. With the advancement of technology, there is a lot that you can do to improve online sales using e-commerce marketing. E-commerce marketing makes use of the promotional activities to increase traffic and conversions. This includes both paid and organic channels to drive results. Now, organic traffic is free traffic, but you have to put a lot of time in to make that work. Otherwise, you have to use paid traffic, and paid traffic is paid per lead, paid per click. And that means that the higher you bid, and you get ranked in Google, and if you're on page one, whether you're one, two, or three, you're more likely to get more clicks. But when you look at who actually buys, then you need to be aware that no click is worth more than 50 cents. So if you pay a high or premium fee to get a certain keyword ranked high, then you could end up losing money. Many businesses have a marketing strategy but fail to effectively execute it because e-commerce marketing does not run on the, the notion that if you build it, they will come. Online e-commerce marketing works on the inbound marketing concept where primitive results are produced using the pull marketing strategy. And there are a number of strategies that you can utilize to boost sales through e-commerce marketing. But the following five can easily help you improve online sales. Make the checkout process easier. According to a study, 69.8% of shopping carts are abandoned. And this is a natural e-commerce user behavior because they find it hard to completely check out. They are looking for coupons or savings, the product for later purchase. The statistics is itself a staggering number of abandoned cards, which shows how important it is to recover these customers. One key thing that you can do to reduce abandoned cards is to create a fi fictionless checkout experience. In order to make it a friendly experience, you should provide a guest checkout. 
that enables customers to make the purchase without a mandatory account. This eliminates one barrier in e-commerce checkout. Secondly, you should enable Google Autofill functionality to allow prospects to save time in filling out their addresses because once this is set up, it will start to display the address in real time. The right type of e-commerce organization goes a long way to creating a loyal customer for your brand. Now, one thing is you need to be aware of, for one thing, you, people are going to be looking to up, you want to be able to upsell. So you need to offer some type of bump sell. And when you do a bump sell, that's when you want to offer a coupon. It's a way of, of getting them to want to purchase more from you. And if you ever look at, at Google, what is Google Kindle, what do they do? They have in there, keep shopping. Or they have a way for you to, to if you've already gotten ebooks from them, to easily check out and get new ebooks. There's just so many ways that you can create opportunities for yourself to, to increase sales. Capture email subscribers. Email marketing is considered to be the most effective channel. Even today, with the rise of automation, segmentation, mobile-ready emails, and abandoned cart technology, email marketing is still a hot channel for improving online sales with e-commerce marketing. Starting an email campaign can be a daunting task, but considering the return on investment it generates, it should be your top of the list task. You can easily automate the whole process with popular tools like Constant Contact, MailChimp, and others, which come with Features like email series trigger, customer journey builder, advanced segmentation, and more to help you create an engaged audience. Taking a thoughtful approach to promoting your newsletter or blog through email marketing can create customer loyalty and re-engagement. Biggest thing about email marketing is open rates. And much of that has to do with the taglines you use on the subject line. It also has to do with some of the ways that, uh, that you are consistently mailing your customers. For instance, if you offer or do a three to one ratio, at a minimum of two to one or three to one or even a four to one ratio, the idea being is if you are giving them information that they really need and they can really use, well, then when you send them that sales letter, they're more likely to open it because simply because you've given them some really good information and you've told them at the end of that email to, to watch for the email that comes the next day because you will be giving them some more information. So understanding how you as a marketer can improve your ability to sell to your customers and get new prospects to actually buy. And the best thing you need to consider is how are you going to be 
getting their name and their email address. Well, to do so, you need to have some type of sales funnel. And that sales funnel has to either give them a free ebook, a free white paper, or even something that they need or want that they will be willing to give you their name and email address so you can start developing that relationship with them. So many times, think about it. You have emails. How many times do you, you get information that goes simply into your junk files or your spam folder by the tag words used in the subject line? Or you will have people that won't even open an email because they know it's going to automatically be a sales letter or some type of offer. So what and how can you, as a marketer, turn that around? Affiliate marketing for increasing sales. If you're, if you're in the space of online marketing, you must have heard the term affiliate marketing a gazillion times. But have you ever wondered how you can create an affiliate program, online store to boost sales? Affiliate marketing is a marketing strategy where a third party promotes your product through a website, social media, or influencer program in return for commission. Affiliate marketing is worth $12 billion and experiencing a growth of 10% a year. You can create an affiliate program for your online store and manage it manually, or you can use affiliate networks such as ShareASale, ClickBank, and even JVZoo or others to automate the process. Once you have an affiliate program in place, you can promote it to get new publishers and influencers on board to promote your product. This is a win-win strategy for both business, where a growth for one means an increase in sales for the other. There are many platforms that you can go on where they help promote your products. ClickBank, JVZoo, and even ShareASale just happen to be a few. And the platform where I dock my website is a fully functional digital marketing platform with over 40 tools to incorporate into marketing my products. And I can, anytime I have a course or a program or videos, I can literally put it in there and set it up as an affiliate program for other people who are on that platform to help sell for me. And in the process, they earn commission. So if you have a sales funnel where you're offering something that's a high ticket item that they can get a nice little commission on, then that is how you can generate and help yourself increase your sales. Now, get help from professionals. This might sound promotional, but a lot of e-commerce marketing agencies know the techniques and strategies that always bring positive results. They have the expertise and resources to satisfy your expectations. E-commerce marketing agencies have prior experience working with social media marketing campaigns, managing Google ads, specifically shopping ads, creating localized search campaigns, and a whole 
array of other services for e-commerce marketing to help you boost sales and brand awareness. And on top of that, it is less expensive than starting to 18 on your own that lacks experience. So, think about the, the digital marketing agencies and how they can help you with marketing your products and your services. So, why is do you want to look at digital marketing today and how those services can help you? Well, for very simple reasons, that it helps you to create a opportunity to sell your products and help you build a marketing plan that can literally help you agency, help you with actually creating opportunities for yourself and why they're so important for you. So if you operate on that way of marketing, it can really help you to expand. The last thing is location-based marketing. Remember, when I started this presentation or this show, I said that even if you own a brick-and-mortar store, you can utilize e-commerce marketing for your local store. Well, location-based marketing is your go-to strategy as a local store. Location-based marketing, also known as neighborhood marketing, allows you to create digital footprint in a local area. You should leverage the power of search engine optimization and optimize your website with local keywords. Alongside this, you can leverage the power of the local event campaigns to boost your brand awareness. This is quite an untapped area for a lot of stores that are struggling to drive sales, footfalls, or even website traffic. As a local store, you can even look into the customer surveys to generate feedback about your products and the store as a whole. This can help you improve or improvise based on customer feedback. Now, remember this. Many local stores do not have websites because they're little small mom-and-pop stores. I can remember many a time walking through the strip malls and talking to some of the owners that were there running their store. And I remember someone telling me that she recommended to a friend of hers to have at least half a million dollars in the bank just to cover expenses because it you, you did, unless you can advertise and that's your little newsletters, your little local papers, your little local direct mailing pieces where you to get customers in, you need to look at other avenues. And today, even if you have a brick a brick and mortar store, that website can help increase your sales because it's giving you the opportunity to see and to get some ways of of looking at your 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 marketing for your store and growing your your ways of selling things. So think about how you can utilize some of these tools 
that we've been talking about to literally help you grow your marketing. And as you do so, see it as an opportunity that can help you increase your sales. So let's let's kind of go back and, and look at some things. For instance, it is really important to draft a very well-versed e-commerce marketing strategy that are not only, only helps you drive sales, but also creates brand awareness. All of the above-mentioned strategies can help you boost sales through e-commerce marketing, but there are always better options that can be customized to your requirements. That is why it is such an important part of how you look at growing your business and how to utilize marketing in today's marketplace. For instance, here's what you need to look at when you are looking at growing an e-commerce marketing plan. For instance, you wouldn't host a dinner party without planning the essentials like the dinner and the drinks. And you wouldn't also, you wouldn't Let me back up a minute and take a deep breath. You wouldn't host a dinner party without planning the essentials, like the dinner and the drinks. And you wouldn't drive from the west coast of the U.S. to the east coast without a plan detailing which roads to follow and how to pay for the gas. And you probably wouldn't set sail from the coast of Florida into the Bermuda Triangle without a compass or a map or really good life insurance policy. The same thing goes for your e-commerce business, except for maybe the life insurance policy. It's a good idea to have a plan, notably a marketing plan, in place to keep your online store traveling down the path to success. So, see what we're saying here? It's important for you to have that marketing plan simply because when you are looking at growing a business, you need to have a plan. Even before you actually get your business started, you need a business plan. So, why not incorporate an marketing plan for growing your online business. So, what is a marketing plan? What does a marketing plan look like? A marketing plan is a business roadmap that helps an e-commerce business or any other type of business move toward a designated goal. A marketing plan is comprised of marketing strategies campaigns, and more. The plan is overreaching your goal or idea with needs for further refining for execution. Think of a marketing plan as being the blueprint for ocean side dream house of your future or the recipe of the savory winter stew you're planning to cook over the weekend. Essentially, a marketing plan as a detailed blueprint, recipe, or report that a business follows to guide it down the best path toward its goals. A marketing plan doesn't need to be a long and tedious document, and it doesn't have to cost your e-commerce business a lot of money to complete. In truth, sometimes the simplest plans, if done well and implemented the right way, have the greatest impact by creating an effective marketing plan 
does require some research, contemplation, and careful consideration in order to serve as an effective tool for your business. So, why should you create a marketing plan? A marketing plan is essential for your online business for numerous reasons. And here are just a few of the top reasons. It keeps you and your online business focused. Your 5 a.m. workout with Jane Fonda, the peculiar orange mold growing in the shower. No, seriously, what is that? The low, higher pressure, a sensor that keeps chiming in your car with all the world's distractions that are constantly competing for your attention. It's easy to lose sight of your online store's goals. A well-written plan helps you keep you grounded and focused on the ins and outs of your intended business goals so that all of life's little distractions don't send your online shop off the deep end. So as you can see here, we're talking about a few of the things that can literally help you take your business to the next level, and that's online marketing. And having a good plan helps you build it. It provides you with measurable goals. It's hard to gauge how far you've come if you don't know where you started. Measurable goals act as targets for your e-commerce store aims to hit by setting specific goals and time frames in which to reach those goals. You're helping to ensure that your business is headed down the path to success. It allows you to pick your brain thinking. So, as you can see here, we have been talking about how to take e-marketing to its next, next level. And in doing so, what are you doing? You're actually increasing your opportunity to build your business and take it to that next, next level that will help you to become what you want it to be. So, how would you take that e-commerce marketing? Now, it paves the way for better customer relationships because e-commerce businesses that connect with customers through a tailored communication method cater to exactly what online shoppers crave a personalized experience with a brand. This is why you need to take, make sure that you're taking your business and literally branding it. And branding it means that you stand out against your competition. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personalcareercoach.com. If you're looking to take some courses on entrepreneurship, then you can you can go to my membership site, Home Based Business Blueprint Network dot com, and we have a number of courses that can help you with growing your business and taking it to the next level. 